Over the past day, there has been a lot of information about the Lenny Euro transfer appearing in the media. Accordingly, Manchester United is negotiating personal terms with the French centre-backs representatives and the deal was officially closed early yesterday afternoon international time. Although his name has been mentioned frequently, many Red Devils fans may not be fully aware of this bright talent of French football, who has been dubbed the Kylian Mbappé the defence. At just 18 years old, he is predicted to be the future of the French national team, a reliable defender for any team. In today's video, we will help our audience understand more about Lenny Yoro, who is on his way to the theater of dreams in the summer's transfer window. Lenny Yoro was born on November 13, 2005 in St. Maurice, France. He is of Ivorian descent, like Didier Drogba, and has dual citizenship. He started playing football at just five years old, and then moved to Lille in the summer of 2017 when he was only 12. After five years of playing in the youth ranks of the club, the young talent signed his first professional contract with the club on January 10, 2022. Subsequently, Lenny Yoro officially debuted for the first team in a 3-1 victory in the French Ligue 1 on May 14, 2022. At 16, Lenny Yoro was the second youngest player to debut for Lille, surpassing Eden Hazard's previous record. In fact, it didn't take long for this center back to score his first goal for the club in Ligue 1 in a 2-2 away draw against Rennes. Although only 18 years old, this young talent has already made 60 appearances for Lille's first team, and last season he was the player with the most minutes played in the team. This is unusual for young players but is a worthy achievement given the progress Lenny Yoro has made. It's not surprising that he has attracted attention from the big clubs in the old continent. So what are the strengths of this young man that many big clubs are pursuing so eagerly? Firstly, Lenny Yoro is a pure right-sided center back with a role similar to Rafael Varane when he was at Manchester United, that is, a covering defender who supports the other, more aggressive defender. At the Red Devils, this is currently Lissandro Martinez, while at Lille it's Alexandro. With a towering height of 1.90 meters, but an otter-like body that is very agile, the French star is extremely good in aerial duels with a success rate of up to 67.86%, the highest at Lille and fifth in Ligue 1. Thanks to his physical advantage, Lenny Yoro's defensive style also shows proactivity. He often closes down opposing forwards very quickly, using his long stride and excellent stability to prevent opponents from receiving the ball. In some situations where he's at a disadvantage, the 2005-born player will trouble the opponent to force them to commit fouls. Despite his young age, thanks to his playing experience, the Lilla Starlet knows many tricks to regain advantage for himself. Otherwise, he's ready to make tactical fouls very quickly, without hesitating for a moment that could affect the whole team. With good situational reading ability, Lenny Yoro always makes decisions very quickly whether to rush up to intercept or actively retreat to support and cover for teammates all very decisively. This young man rarely leaves gaps behind because one of the most prominent features to evaluate the 18-year-old center back higher than his peers is his ability to choose positions to clear the ball in time. Lenny Yoro rarely allows himself to fall into situations where he has to face opponents one-on-one. -on -one. He often opts for early interceptions or tenacious marking before blocking. This is because coach Paolo Fonseca wants his players to always be proactive rather than falling into unfavorable situations and then putting themselves in difficult positions. Although possessing a towering height, Lenny Yoro is still relatively thin due to his age. The Lil Star still needs to develop more muscle to confidently stand firm against any opponent and be ready for direct confrontations. This is certainly something Manchester United has considered and will have special plans for him. Many people often compare the French centre back with his senior Raphael Varane, not only because of his appearance but also because he is an extremely intelligent defender, rarely fooled by feints and knowing when to rush in to challenge. However, there is still a notable point the risk when making passes. Lenny Yoro's footwork skills are undeniable, but most of his plays are aimed at safety. 
the young talent from France tends to make relatively simple passes or in other words, short passes back and forth with teammates. There aren't many instances where the little star delivers a long breakthrough pass or sends the ball to the sides for wingers to use their speed to approach the opponent's goal. That's why, despite having a passing success rate of up to 94.2%, not many people trust Lineoro's footwork because most of these are back and forth passes in their own half that are highly safe and not very creative. Of course, the 2005 born player still has quality deliveries to the forward line to take advantage of the speed of Jonathan David or Hakon Haraldson, but not too many. The way he makes long passes behind the opponent's defense is quite similar to what John Stones of Man City often does. But it seems that the 2005 born youngster is not yet truly confident with this style of play. Since Lille is not a club that favors ball possession, this will be a point that coach Eric Ten Hag needs to further hone for his student if they have the opportunity to work together. Being a pure right-leaning center back, Lenny Yoro is very suitable for a four-defender formation where he can support and cover for the right side. At his current club, he often pairs with Alexandro Ribeiro, Ismaili, and Bafo Diakite. If the right back, compatriot Bafo Diakite or Tiago Santos, pushes high, he will immediately fill in the vacant position while being ready to read any attacking situation from the opponent. With a player possessing a strong style specializing in rushing up to intercept like Alexandro Ribeiro, Lenny Yoro has had the opportunity to maximize his qualities, which are excellent covering ability and situation reading. Clearly, proactivity is one of the outstanding points that the French star possesses. Good observation skills along with good situation reading have helped him make reasonable decisions. Therefore, his teammates can feel secure in completing their tasks well with a reliable defender beside them. That's on the defensive front, but what about when the formation pushes high to attack? In some specific cases, if Lille deploys an attacking formation, the right back will be encouraged to push high with the impressive flank running ability of Bafo Diakite and Tiago Santos. Therefore, Lenny Yoro will play completely on the right while Alexandro Ribeiro will be in the center, forming a quadrilateral with Nebel Bentaleb and Benjamin Andre that can neutralize any opponent's striker, while creating space for a former Red Devil, Angel Gomes, to create and bring more opportunities for the forward line. Operating widely will maximize the strengths of the 2005-born talent so that he can observe better and make more effective decisions. If he takes advantage of this to further develop his footwork skills, Lenny Yoro will be a top defender in world football and a bright name for a spot in the French national team lineup. Therefore, if he joins Manchester United, this will be a very notable name and can help the team upgrade their defense. Currently, Manchester United's offer of 50 million euros equivalent to 42.2 million pounds for Lenny Yoro has been accepted by Lille. But the English representatives still have a lot to do to persuade this defender to move to the theater of dreams when his mind is still lingering on Real Madrid. With their advantages and not too much pressure in recruiting new signings, Los Blancos only offered 20 million euros equivalent to 16.8 million pounds, or they will bring him to Santiago Bernabeu for free next year when the player's contract with the League One club expires. Meanwhile, Sky Sport journalist Florian Pluttenberg has just updated on his personal page interesting information related to this case. Manchester United knows Lenny Yoro will choose between Real Madrid and the club. Understand that the Red Devils are offering a contract valid until 2029, plus one year with him. And the most anticipated figure is journalist David Einstein, who said Lenny Yoro is preparing to fly to England for a medical with Manchester United and to complete personal procedures. Finally, although not officially confirming the success of the deal with what is happening, it seems that the second new signing of the summer transfer window has emerged. Lenny Yoro is very excited about the idea of moving to the Red Devils and the latest developments are a big step in this situation. But there is still much to be resolved. Despite the young center back wanting to go to Real Madrid, Manchester United remains persistent, and while the door is still ajar, they have done their best to lure him to the northwest of England. Barring any late unexpected events, this deal is close to becoming a reality.
Thus, the final official information will be announced very shortly, and we should prepare to welcome this bright young talent of world football to join the theater of dreams. A quality transfer that holds great significance for Manchester United's future. Thank you for tuning into VR360. We hope you enjoyed our latest updates and insights on all things Manchester United. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news, match analysis and exclusive content. Join our community of passionate Red Devils fans and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us bring you the best coverage of our beloved team. Until next time, stay united and keep the red flag flying high.